bus is coming from Mandela. Oh. So now I'm here in uh, Kamo Wazir and this is the public transport kind of here. Everyone is uh, getting inside. I'll just go inside the market and explore a little bit. One thing here is uh, very very impressed. Uh, I can't find any kind of plastic garbage uh, throwing around. The place is really very beautifully maintained. Uh, Myanmar is a very poor country but still they live a uh, very standard life, very clean life. I think we Indian also must learn from the poor countries like uh, Myanmar. So this type of bike is uh, very common here. These types of bikes are seen in Vietnam, uh, Thailand, Cambodia as well. This is some electronic stores here. These are some uh, liquor store. Now I'm entering inside the main market. This is the parking space here for two wheelers. This is the market complex here. It is very systematic. I'll just go inside and walk. Finally, I'm entering inside the market complex. Clothes, footwear. It's a very cheap year as compared to Indian market. The market complex is really very, very systematic. Here only uh, clothes and footwear are sold. I'm not buying anything, so I'm not gonna ask anything here. Here are some military boots. Here also market is run by ladies only, especially in all the South Asian countries, including uh, Northeast part of India. You can get to see uh, ladies running the shop. Here all the general store food items Riding a cycle is also very common here. People are coming and going back from the market. Oh, my God. 
So again here, market complex for selling vegetables and uh, food items. So here, yeah, rosal leaves is also very popular. Even the stem of pumpkin. Even the ferns, some lilies, leaves, and this is very common in my place as well. So whole market is run by ladies. Uh, dry chilies, some spices, and pickle made from lye leaves, some fermented sprout. Umbrellas. This is a kind of mushrooms. It is just like a potato. He's sewing this and he's wearing longi. Food here, chips. Most of the vegetables are very common uh, in Manipur market and I don't know what is this uh, selling mangoes here Some spices, garlic, dry chili, some lentils, potatoes. How much per kg it is? Uh, potatoes. One kg. How much? Huh? One kilo kitna? No? They don't understand. Neither Hindi, neither English. They speak only Burmese language. I was just trying to know the cause of uh, potato park is he? Uh, they couldn't understand. How much one kg? Tomato. One kg? Uh, 60. It's quite expensive. Uh, Burmese money, Indian money? Myanmar 60? 2000. 
Wow. Yen. Myanmar 2000 yen. Okay, the cost of uh, this tomato in uh, Myanmar yen is uh, 2000, but in India it is uh, rupees 60. At least I got to know the price over here. So this is the Tamo market here in Myanmar. Many people come to see this market here. So many different types of green vegetable leaves here, herbs. Some are really very unique. I don't know what is this made out of from, some sprout. I don't know what fruit is this. For eating curry? For eating curry? Okay. So after taking out, it looks like this. Okay. For eating? Okay. Huh? For boil, after boil only you can eat this. Okay. Not for uh, cooking curry? Okay, all right. <laughs> Some eggs. So these are some common fish found here in Myanmar market. Some dry fish. Chicken. How much for kg? Chicken? Four thousand. Five thousand yen. Seven thousand yen. In uh, Burmese money, it is seven thousand for kg. They are chilling. Some poultry chicken. This is made yellow. I think they have uh, applied turmeric powder. They are making the chicken yellow. Pork, how much is it? Yen, how much? Burmese currency. It's 10,000 Burmese currency per kg. Some sauces. The meat looks 
to be quite uh, fresh. Four Indian rupees, 500 per kg, and for yen, it is uh, rupees 10,000. And this is a beef. Beef, how much uh, per kg? 700 Indian money. Beef. Okay. For Indian uh, money, the uh, beef is costing rupees 700 per kg. And this is pork skin. Pork, pork, beef, pork. This is the skin of some animals. Cow. Pork. Okay. Indian 200. This is the skin of pig. They are selling for rupees 200 for Indian money. Cute dog is here. Hello. Baby. Uh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the vegetable market, uh, meat market, food market here in Tamo Bazaar. Tamo market. Some flowers here. Selling of city is uh, still very popular here in Myanmar. We can get to see in every market selling cities. Now I'll go back to Nampalong uh, market. It is in the border between India and Myanmar. One thing I have realized here is that they are not throwing around the garbage, plastic. It is very nicely maintained. I'm just uh, going back and it is uh, very difficult to communicate here because most of the people doesn't speak either English or Hindi. They can speak only uh, 
men were lengthless. Somehow I managed to get inside the auto and I'll get down. Uh, there is one monastery just uh, before Nampalong. I'll just spend a little time and I'll go back to Nampalong market and definitely I'm going to explore that market as well.